Hi everybody, one of my favourite things to do when I'm playing, uh, especially Battlefield 1, is to take screenshots as we're going along. Um, <laughs> the lads probably, they, they moan a bit when they go, come on, it's time to take a screenshot of uh, what's, what's what's happening. But it might not, you might not want to take a screenshot um, because of, um, of the actions on the screen. It might be something like a, a score that you thought was particularly good or something like that. Um, and then you can edit them using um, Share Factory to come up with uh, different effects and also you can kind of combine uh, photos to come up with stuff like this which you can then share on Twitter or keep or maybe use in for stills in videos and that sort of thing. So first things first, what you want to do is just go to the settings on the PlayStation 4 um, menu and go down to uh, sharing and broadcasts and just double check what your share button control type is. You can have standard or easy screenshots. So in standard, to take a screenshot, you have to press and hold the share button for about a second, and then it will go bink, and it will take it. If you set it for easy screenshots, basically you just press it and it will take a screenshot. Um, obviously, the second option, the easy screenshot, is the easiest one, because as soon as you press the button, it's going to take a screenshot, but because I do a lot of recording of videos and taking screenshots and I've always used the standard setting that's the one I use because it's the one I can remember to do in the heat of the moment so when you're in your you know, when you're in your um, game um, and you're playing along and you want to take a screenshot you just sort of press and hold uh, the button and then boop you get that little icon come up um, now if you take another screenshot straight away that little icon will appear in the screenshot so that can be a bit of a pain but anyway so you've taken your you've taken your screenshot and then what you do is at the end of the game or when there's an appropriate time um, you can go into the capture ground and look at it now remember if you're going to edit it what will happen is your playstation will fire up share factory the free uh, video editing app so it will stop whatever application you're doing so if you were playing battlefield one and sort of in the middle of a session you wanted to edit a screenshot um it would shut battlefield one down but you can just share stuff without it shutting it down so you go into the capture gallery and your screenshot will be under the particular game that it was on so there's the one i just took there um tgc scale speeder so if i hit the share button right now on my controller i'll then get the option to upload it to twitter or youtube or facebook i think as well it'll uh, pop up within just a second there we go facebook tw or twitter there we go but i want to edit it so what you can do is if you come out to the main screen and just hit the options button or the start button that used to be called on your playstation controller you'll get edit in share factory so hit edit and then it's all it's already selected the one that i was looking at so now i just go over to edit on there it's going to shut battlefield down and it's going to fire up share factory this is a really cool feature and it makes yeah i mean i use it an awful lot so here we go so it's loaded it up and you can probably see at the bottom we have a couple of options we have edit background and edit photo so if we hit edit background we can change the color various settings and then we could change around borders but i'll show you that in a minute the one thing we're really interested in, though is edit photo so we can press x oops sorry we can edit the photo so we can pan and zoom so using the uh, left analog stick we can zoom in and then using the right analog stick we can move around to choose a particular bit. In effect, we're cropping the photo, aren't we? Um, so I might want, I don't know, do something like that. I don't know. And then you press X to confirm. And then I can edit the photo and I could add a filter. And there are loads of different filters you could do. So if we go to the left and go to photo filters, we could say, actually, I want it to be, what do we, um, something like a black and white photo what do you reckon like that there we go well right, so that's not black and white it's added like more more contrast isn't it um the same well, i don't know i don't particularly like that so let's go into the filter let's delete that filter let's add a slightly different filter Yeah, that would be a black and white filter. So turn it black and white, 
that looks all right doesn't it and then maybe what we wanted to do next is we could add a vignette so to darken the edges and uh, we could have a blur vignette and um, tilt shift kind of makes things look like they're smaller but you've got to be up, up at height looking down a time bender vignette I'm not sure about that one. just a normal vignette will do for me and that will just um, darken the edges We'll go with that one and now what we could also do if you wanted to is you could start adding an overlay so we can add stickers <laughs> that's my little logo there um, things to do with a the theme so depending on what theme you've got loaded up um, you could import photos and put them on from a USB stick or we could write text on it that way and once you've done that hit the triangle it will save the photo and then you can upload it to Twitter, Facebook, etc., and share it that way. Now, the other thing, in fact, let's just go in and exit without saving. Let's come out of that. Right. So the other thing you might want to do is put a few photos together, which is something I like to do. Um, so what you do with that instead is you, you just go back here. So you're back at your. Um, let's go all the way back. So you've gone, you've gone into uh, Capture Gallery, and we've gone into Battlefield 1. Let's say we want to put a number of photos together. All you do is hit the Start or the Options button, edit in Share Factory, and pick the photos you want to have together. So, I don't know, say that one, that one, and that one. Edit. It's going to take them into Share Factory, and it'll automatically put them into a, uh, a composite, if you like, a montage, even like that and then you can go in and you can edit the photos uh, pan and zoom because often you want to do that to kind of move things around to show the bits that you wanted to show and you can edit each individual photograph within the montage as well so you could add various filter effects and stuff you could also change how you did it depending on the photo um, or maybe you could think well actually I want them like that but I want another photo there Right, so if you go down to and you have an extra one, you just press X, choose screenshot, and then we could add another photo in like that. How simple is that? So there we go. So that's my quick guide to editing and, uh, oh, sorry, taking, editing, and uploading photos on your PS4 using ShareFactory. It's all free. If you haven't got ShareFactory on your PS4, just download it from the PlayStation Store. It is an incredibly powerful uh, program for a console anyway. Uh, it's great fun. You can share all your daring do and amazing scores with your friends on Twitter or Facebook. That's enough from, enough from me. Press like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of the same. Put your questions and comments down below, and I will see you again soon.